Hello, my name is Das Goravani, and I have been an astrologer, programmer, student of for 20 years. And I see that it works. It does work. And I have sought to find how it works in physics because I believe that physics and the belief in God and religion are actually capable of being united in one. They are for me. So I have an expla explanation as to why this physical world that runs on laws with the apparition of free will, why it is made by God. But that's not the point of this video. In this video, I'm going to tell you how astrology works using physics. And here it is very simply. It is based on the gravity of the planets, which are the closest things to us, the Earth. We're on the Earth. The closest things to us are the planets. They have gravity, varying levels of gravity. <clears throat> but it is enough to be noted at the surface of each planet. And in fact, it pulls the planets in their orbits. In fact, um, uh, Neptune was discovered because of perturbations of the planets. Its perturbation upon Ur Uranus was being noticed, but nobody knew that there was a planet. And based on perturbation um, formulas, they figured out where this missing planet must be, and they set their scopes there and found it. So you see, perturbations of the planet's gravity upon each other's orbits is very, very real. When the moon is on the far side of the earth from the sun, it drifts away a little bit because it is, it's at a greater distance from the sun, less gravity from the sun upon it. When it's on the side closer to the sun, it drifts towards the sun away from the earth. So um, the earth moves a number of miles in and out of its perfect circular orbit. Um, because of the perturbations of the other planets, which happen slowly as the planets slowly move around the sun. So that's rule number one. These different levels of gravity are acting upon everything here. So all matter basically, you could say, knows where they are because their gravity is always hanging in the air there, so to speak, pulling. All right, that's rule one. Rule two. Um, the London dispersion um, formula. Within all atoms and molecules, every quantum element, a neutron or photon, they, in their orbits, or whatever they do within molecules, they go out of alignment and repel each other and attract each other. This um, oscillating of them due to each other is called the London dispersion effect. So it's a part of physics. And it's the main thing holding matter together. And for example, one of its applications is this. To knock a person out with anesthesia is to stop the, this oscillating within certain proteins in the brain. So they have a chemical they inject, or you inhale, that goes there in the oxygen and introduces itself. And it is of a certain magnetic gravitational density that it stops the oscillating, or London effect, on other atoms and molecules, and the person falls asleep. So you see, this oscillating causes thought and wakefulness. And my theory is it causes thoughts. As an entity is forming, it's in a watery state, and it's, uh, it's going to be more pulled than a solid, because it's in a watery state. The gravity of the planets, as they perturb the Earth and each other, are also perturbing that thing. And it is formed under the influence of the gravity of the planets. When the, a baby comes out or something is completed being made, being made like a car, at the moment it becomes an individual entity on its own. Then it's no longer a part of the thing that was making it. It's its own thing. And it starts to experience the poles of the planets on its own. All right. <clears throat> Take two different humans born in two different cultures. 
the Earth itself in different places has different levels of gravity. So in Oslo, you weigh a little more than in Mexico, see, because it has a higher density of Earth somehow, and it therefore has higher gravity. And that, too, is another part of my theory, that things form on the Earth based on the gravity they experience during gestation, as well as the effects of the planets on the London dispersion of molecules and atoms, thus forming an entity very unique to its place of gestation, where the mother was orbiting on the Earth during its gestation. That thing will be unique to that. And this accounts for race popping up under natural conditions like darker people, lighter people. We know that that's because of the sun, right? Well, the other planets have effects too. And they're also shaping the matter. Um, when two different children are born in there, they look different races or whatever, and they're on different parts of the earth, their brains are subtly different because of where they were formed and where the planets were during their gestation because those things slightly affect the dispersion within atoms and molecules. So they're a little different. And then they're experiencing going around the Earth throughout life, experiencing the same positions of the planets, but their brains are different. So the ongoing effects of the gravity of the planets and wherever they are on Earth is unique to them based on how they were formed. So each brain is slightly different inside on the atomic molecular quantum levels due to its gravity of location, gestation, where the planets were during its gestation. And how that affected the London dispersion and ultimately formed matter a certain way. So the transiting planets will affect one person differently because their molecules and atoms might be a little closer because the planets were all on one side of the Earth or such. And the other person, it's looser because the planets were spread out. So different transits will make this person think something and not this person. But they're happening at the same time. So relatively similar things will happen and this causes the same people to get on an airplane that crashes. You see, on a quantum level, astrology is working from gravity, from the Earth, the Moon, the Sun, and all the other planets, by affecting the London dispersion within all atoms and molecules during gestation and during life, causing thoughts when, in their movement, atoms and molecules touch all at once in one place, that will be called a trigger of a thought. And that only happens because of the angles of the planets. And moon and sun, the strong ones upon us. Each person has quantum differences in their brain. When the planets hit a certain angle, the London dispersion that's still going on within that brain is going to react slightly causing thoughts. The triggers of thoughts are your unique formation under gravity of all that I name. Then it is being moved and mutated live, real time, always, by the planet's gravity, but starting with the Earth and Sun and Moon and out, and their effect on the London dispersion still going on in all your atoms and molecules, which is oscillating. And stopping, os stopping oscillating can cause unconsciousness. Then minor changes in oscillation are what trigger thoughts, proving that astrology triggers your thoughts. It also directs the formation of everything. Because it's gravity. A force. Thank you very much. This is my theory, copyrighted intellectual property, and I expect it to be honored as such. I've devoted my life to finding this out. This is copyright Das Gorobani, 2013. Thank you very much. I hope you understood this. If not, you can look up some of the words I used. Okay, see you later.